Hey y'all, Tim here. Let's talk about managing ebuild repositories, also known as portage overlays, also known as just repos. So I'm going to be going over two different tools for managing these, eselect repository and layman. But first let's talk about the why. Why do you need to care about overlays? So odds are at some point you'll run into something you want that just isn't in the default repos. That could be like LibreWolf, PaleMeme, Steam. I think SCRCPY is something else that I had to go to overlays for. But eventually you're going to just do a search for something and not find it. So for an example, I'm just going with some Toho clone that I played off the AUR like years ago that I remembered recently. So yeah, you can see that it wasn't found. Now, there is a harder way to look for what is in what overlays, and that way it doesn't require a browser, but I'm going to go for the easy ways which do. So pull up your browser of choice, and if it's something popular enough like Steam, you can just look up like Steam Gen 2 on any search engine, and there might be a wiki page for it, but also if you scroll enough you should find a Steam overlay. I don't remember if this is like the actual one that people use or not, but it's there. And for less popular packages, you can go to gpo.zugaina.org then you got a nice little search bar here. So, looking up that same Tuhu clone, and you can see that something has it. The Git version and just a normal release are in the Guru and Boo Boo overlays. I think I'm gonna add Guru just because it seems to have a more up-to-date release of it. I don't actually know if that's the newest one or not, but it's more up-to-date anyway. So, eSelect repository, I'm gonna just sort of set this to the side so I can talk about seeing what you already have first. So, really simple if you've used any eSelect stuff, so just as root, eSelect repository list, gotta get the words in the actual right order, then type in password, and you can see a lot of stuff gets spit out because this is just every repository that it knows about. So if you want something a bit more useful, just add dash i and that only shows ones that are installed. So little Octothorpe indicates that either you've customized it or you need to sync it. So I should probably sync these at some point. At sign indicates that something isn't an official repository, but you have it anyway. And asterisk is installed, enabled, and not unofficial or up to not unofficial or out of date it is up to date so yeah as you can see none of these are i think guru is the one that i decided on yeah so real simple just e select i was really hoping i could tab complete that but no luck so yeah e select repository, then if it's an official one, you can just go with enable and then the repository name. So in this case, guru. And if it's not official, then I'm just going to edit this line because that's easier. You need to add, then 
the repo name, the sync type, and the sync URL. So in my show notes, I got LibreWolf as an example. So LibreWolf for the name, Git for the type, and if I can type at all, gitlab.com slash LibreWolf community slash browser slash gen2 dot git. I don't actually know if I typed all that right, but if you were adding it, it would be something like this. And if you just duck, duck, go or bing or whatever, LibreWolf gen2, then the GitLab repository comes up and it has the exact one liner that you need. Yeah, just gonna clear that out and no matter how you add one afterward, you're gonna do a quick little nice little emaint sync dash R whatever new repo So yeah, just added it, and now if I do that search again, it should find it. Yep, it's masked because I need to tell it that this is fine for not stable. I just highlighted everything except the character that mattered. But yeah, so it's masked, but it is there. And then can I just do that list again? So yeah, you can see that Guru's been added and now for how to remove. So first, before removing one, you want to make sure that you don't have anything like installed from it. So command to check that qlist dash i for installed r to show repos. And if you're just checking one, you could pipe it directly to grab. I'm just going to check it in like some random file. So I'm going to do two different checks on it. One just to show that what I'm describing actually works, and one just to show that I don't have anything installed from the repo that I'm about to remove. And depending on how fast your computer is and how much you have installed, it could take a bit to populate that list. But once you do, you just do a grep for colon colon whatever repo name and if you didn't type it directly from QList then you're going to want to grep the file. So yeah, as you can see I have LibreWolf installed from the LibreWolf overlay. Imagine that. But now Let's check for Pale Moon, and it just required active effort to not type Pale Meme. Yeah, you can see no output, and my prompt turns red here when the last command exits with a non-zero status. So yeah, I don't have anything installed from the Pale Moon overlay, so I kind of don't need to keep it. So. If I just wanted to disable it without, like, removing local copies of the e-builds and all, then I would just put a space in there first and disable Pale Moon. But I kind of don't see myself switching back, so going to instead 
remove Pale Moon. And then if I list repositories again, you can see that Pale Meme is no longer on there. And for disable or remove, if it fails, you can just add the dash F flag to force it. So yeah, that was eSelect repository. And now let's take a look at layman. So starting with that same listing, layman just dash capital L to list every overlay that it knows about. And I got a permission error, so that's probably just related to running it as a normal user. And lowercase l, if you just want to see enabled ones that Layman knows about. So these are the three that I've added via Layman. eSelect repository knows about ones that Layman adds, but not the other way around. So if you only pick one to use, I'm pretty sure eSelect repository is kind of the preferred one. Yeah, just including Layman for completeness. So if you want to add a repository that you actually need root for, so do as Layman dash a repo name. I'm just gonna pick some random one up there and not actually add it. But yeah, it's that simple if it's one of the official ones, so one on that list that capital L spit out. And if it's not official, I don't have a specific example for this, so I'm going to make one up, but dash O for URL to the overlay list, which you can point it to a local file just by starting the URL with file colon slash slash. I'm gonna point it to a remote XML file, so let's just go with something like fbi.gov slash honeypot slash honeypot.xml, and, you know, they probably wouldn't have honeypot twice in there, so gen2 slash honeypot.xml, because layman looks for XML files. Then dash f for fetch, and then dash a, whatever you want to call it, so this would probably be called Honeypot, and for obvious reasons I'm not actually going to run this. That would be a really weird request for them to see in the logs, but to update an overlay via layman, just root layman dash lowercase s repo name for one repo, or capital S if you want to update all of them. So like if I knew that my Steam overlay was out of date, I could just do as layman-s Steam overlay, and that would update it. I don't remember if it actually is or not, but either way I'm just going to deal with that later. And then for disabling and removal, so both of these, as you probably could have guessed, require root. So layman dash capital D. Let's just keep using Steam Overlay as an example. So that would disable it without getting rid of like local e builds and such. And if you switch that to a lowercase d, then it just completely removes it.
So yeah, that was just a little bit about managing repos on Gen 2, so hopefully that helped someone with something. That's about it for this video. I'm probably going to throw a few links in the description, like that Zugina search that I showed, and probably just the Gen 2 wiki pages for Layman and eSelect repository, in case this wasn't helpful enough. And uh, yeah, that's actually about it. Have a nice rest of your day!